for a scare. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, chapter two, episode two of the Lost Alone series. The first one, if you recall, had an actual elephant that we found in a room. So, you know, who knows what this one has? I'm excited to find out. Don't suck, please don't suck. Sapeviche Una Era Suli Premion Tasto Qualon K. In Lost Alone Episode 2, Daddy, the candles don't last indefinitely. While exploring the house, you'll find candles to put in the candlesticks. The candles light with matches and will last for about 10 minutes. All right, that's a dumbass change that you should undo immediately. I don't have great feelings right now about this. Oh, and each of these takes up a slot. I collected a white ball. Candles at least stack. I don't know why batteries don't stack. Ground floor bathroom key. It was critical in the last game that you searched every single drawer. Mom hasn't left my room yet. I've been hearing her crying for two days. She doesn't even go out to eat. I'm very worried. Dad's also very strange. He looks sad. I tried to console him, but he didn't even raise his head to look at me. I'll stay here in their room until tomorrow. It is locked. It makes a door lock sound, which is funny. Creepy lady in the water. Sinking slowly. You need to get some more uplifting art in your house. Spegni. A Cindy. They didn't quite translate absolutely everything. What do we do with 7887? And I have two billiards balls and I'm missing a valve. Somewhere in here, we're gonna find, maybe not in here, maybe it's in that. What in the fuck was that noise? I swear to God, something spooky is supposed to be happening in here and I just keep missing it. Oh good, the stamina bar is back. To use an item you've collected, you just need to interact with the environment. You will not have to open inventory to open doors, interact, or use objects. Oh, phone call. You took torch. Oh my god, this flashlight's amazing. Answer. There's no sound? I disagree. There was a great deal of sound. It's a butt! Where did this corpse fall from? Above? I would assume. But! <laughs> Hello? Huh. I just came out of nowhere. Alright. Remember, in Lost Alone, you cannot save. Enjoy these two hours of fear all in a row. However, you will only be able to take advantage of a checkpoint after lighting the blue flame. After lighting the blue flame. There are footsteps. Pause. Hey! There's a patrolling enemy? Every day is the same. Take the carcasses, tear them apart, and put them in the cold room. Wait for the customers, sell the goods, go upstairs, sleep, and start again. Every fucking day, it's the same story. I'm... I'm tired. <laughs> I need to turn this life around. Yours. I'm sorry, your George. Well, at least he signed it politely. That is an awfully long haul. Was there a person? Was there was there a person standing just inside this door? Oh, you guys. Your artwork really... Your artwork just... you, Man. You're gonna give your children nightmares every single time they walk into any room in your house. 
That's going to be problematic for them. You're going to have to explain that at therapy. The hot water knob is missing. It's locked. Two locks to shower. 100% agree, actually. There's a billiards ball as well as a key in there. What are the effective chances that there's going to be someone standing right out of this door right now when we walk out here? Pretty sure those footsteps are underneath us. So, right, I need to put paintings on the walls. We already did that. It does not work. Look out. Look out. <laughs> All right. For now, I'm going to explore the house without opening that door downstairs for as long as humanly possible. Because I have quite the uh, legend. Uh, yeah, well, I can't read any of that. Legend, cupboard up, medium, book three, clock, cabinet left, book one. What? Christina, you and that baby are going to drive me crazy. I'm not asking that much. I only ask for a little bit of order in the house. This room is always a mess. I hate asymmetry, you know? I hope I don't have to repeat myself again. On my return, I want everything to be in the correct order and that these two rooms are identical. What? I, I don't really ask much. Just that you make various rooms in our house absolutely identical. So there are like six doors that we can't get into. This guy, I really am praying to God that this guy does not just patrol the whole house. Okay, so the weird thing is this door is locked with a code and I feel like I have the code. And yet, I cannot interact with this door to type in a code. May as well light a candle. So this is the only room that we can really... Oh. Yeah. Collected the shower key. Huge progress. Huge. Whose shower has a lock on it? People who are worried about their... Fancy shower head being stolen, I suppose. I don't really have a better answer for you. Matches, billiard ball, cold room key. All right. Hey, are you still in there, fuck boy? Just checking. Did you leave? Are you not in here anymore? That's actually way worse than you just being in here. Hello? Alright. That's worse. That's definitely worse. Hello, meat cabinet. That was the sound of that. All organs are here except for the liver. I have nothing to unblock. Okay, so I assume that guy's walking around the house now. How does that guy interact? I... What? Love. Appear... Whoa! Uh, ex excuse me, this is inappropriate for Twitch, all these people kissing. Love. A feeling as unique as hatred. Were there naked people in that bottom one? George was a humble and incredibly good person. Incredibly good. 
as humble as his job, the butcher. The days in his butcher shop were marked with amusing regularity. Until June 20th, 1959, when in the hot morning of that summer, he entered his butchered shop and into the light and into his life, Christina. Theirs was a love at first sight. A pure, strong, and overwhelming love like the ones you see in the movies. Love that resulted in a marriage a few months later? That's real fast! Bill? Whatever his name is? George? What was that? But unfortunately, sometimes love is... Yeah, you actually have to work at your relationships, you idiot. Their greatest wish was to have a bit... Well, it looks like they succeeded. They tried for years, but George couldn't fulfill their wish. Oh, I guess not. Okay, that first picture threw me off. And this contributed to plunging man into an abyss of depression. Oh. Okay. I'm legitimately worried about where that guy went and I just just please game just do me this one favor don't have him walking around the game the entire time please I'm now locked in the slaughterhouse it may move but it's too heavy if i found something to leverage if i found something to leverage i got a liver i could put that in the e buonanotte my favorite book uh okay let's store the other that and then let's store a battery I at least have the beginnings of some of these puzzles. Now I can push this super heavy IKEA nightstand. What the fuck did that do? What is that? Read. 6102293. Okay. 6-1... O two two nine three. Turn the power back on. Sure. The, without electricity, that door won't open. All right, how much you want to bet that guy in the butcher's outfit is in this next room? How much do you want to bet that he is in this room? How much? Oh. Oh no, this is just a storage room. I still don't have a valve or anything. Uh, alright. Thoughts, ideas? On how to turn... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have, we have a key to this. Boom! Valve handle. What the fuck is that? Excuse you. Huh? What? Oh. Guess I better go in the bathroom. The only room I have available to me. These games are always strange, but the mirror says 103672 light. 103672 light. Oh no. That is spooky. Which Okay, I'm just going to put that there so it gets out of my inventory. 
102-672. One, it does not work. Okay, well, we have a book, right? We can put the book on the... Why did this fall off the wall? I think we can just put the book on the thing downstairs. 103-672 light. What does that mean? I got a backpack. That gave me... <laughs> that gave me a... Couple extra storage spaces. Okay. Turn off the flashlight so we can think for a second. My only assumption is that we have to walk down those stairs and guess who I bet we're going to find on those stairs. Guess who I bet we're going to find on these fucking stairs. I'll give you one guess. I'm ready. I'm not really ready. I don't feel ready. Really? Nothing? There's a weird noise. Oh my god! What the fuck was that thing? Look at all the bells! Oh my god, the bells! I love the bells! That guy's having a great time. Um... Oh, shit. One, oh, three, six, seven, two. Saves me a whole lot of walking. Hello, basement. If you need, if you feel the need to move faster, hold down the shift key. George is not athletic. Haven is dead. Cool. Dad scares me more and more. The other day, a client of his came to our house. They entered the slaughterhouse together, and Dad went out alone with the bloody sack. Didn't look like one of his pigs. I heard so many screams and then silence. Think he hid that sack in the cellar, but I can't find it. Mom got really mad when she found out about Dad's sack. There's some phrasing in there you probably want to work on. I don't know what that means, but... That pretty much... What happened? Oh! I... That would have scared the shit out of me if I had actually been... Looking that direction. My flashlight... Is... On again. Holy fuck, that would have scared the absolute bejesus out of me had I actually been there to see it. Oh, excuse you! Excuse you, this is not... Please go away. Please leave. I'm gonna loop him. The butcher has taken the liver out of your inventory. Are we serious? Is this going to happen again and again every single time he catches us? Let me tell you about things that are not good game mechanics. Is he just here again? Does he just appear randomly? I have so many questions. I suppose it's also possible that I just, I haven't seen a key that, oh. Why is this? What? Why is this door open? Christina's office. <laughs> okay, well. There's a dead body and a skeleton and what looks like possibly a liver, a horse statue. I see. 
There's our liver. It's in the fridge. Okay, but if I pick up the liver, is that guy just gonna pop back out and steal it from me again? Does that just unleash him on the stage? Just go. But boom, liver. Of course. We got the kitchen key. Oh. Whoa, pig thing. Pig monster. I'm not even sure what that is. Let's go into the kitchen. Can't possibly be worse than outside. The pig. That damn baby gets his hands everywhere. He forced me to put a coat on the nightstand too. I swear that one of these days, what? You swear one of these days, what? You're talking about a baby. I hid the coat in the paintings. Christina, if you need to burn them with acid. Dude, this guy has some serious problems. It's useless to press random keys. I don't know the whole code. I have to gush the pipes. There's a sink full of acid. I got a rose? A plastic flower. I love you, Christina. I love you from the first moment I saw you. Let's run away together. Let's go elsewhere. I don't know where else. Let's start a new life together. I'll be able to take care of the baby. Oh, he's going to take care of the baby, it sounds like. Hey, spooky guy. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I just figured that about now is the time I would assume that you'd be popping out to steal my plunger next. Oh my fucking God. You know what I was thinking we'd just do? Let's just add like, I don't know, 30 minutes of... Oh, there he is. Let's add 30 minutes of padding to this game. Oh, there's no door. There's no more door. Uh, there's no doors. It's forced. It's actually forced. You cannot hide from him. They take away the doors. They take away the doors. So you can't hide. I wait for you above. The electricity meter has disappeared. I would like to disappear. He's taken the plunger and he took the electricity box. <laughs> he took the electricity box. A plastic flower. Hey, this is open. No, I just, I just want, I wasn't ready for this. Spooky. Whatever that was. Ah, that's spooky too. I can't see what it is. Five years passed and everything changed. They're really using the SpongeBob font. Oh, is that true? I had no idea. Christina became pregnant. On September 30th, she gave birth to a baby boy. A handsome and handsome, strong, healthy male. But these characteristics in the divine miracle did nothing but sink George even deeper into his depression for some reason. Because the kid was messy? The man did not believe his wife. The man just thought he had been betrayed. He's your son, George. <laughs> George dot dot dot. We must give him a name. You didn't name. You could call him Alberto like his father. 
Ooh. George, yeah, it's kind of a dick move. Oh, we're back. I've collected the horse statue. Examine. Christina, did you take me for a fool? Do you think I don't know you're coming to browse my warehouse? You cried so much for Alberto's disappearance, and here he is. You found it, together with all the others. That tall albino was the first to call me Pigman. Then all the others followed. Words can change you, Christina. They can completely transform a person. But these bastards are done. They have finished blowing their mouths. <laughs> Christina, by the time you read this letter, it'll be too late for you too. No longer yours. The corpse of an albino person. I think it's Alberto. I see. Hello, spooky skeleton. Put bones. The skeleton is missing bones. It is not possible to remove. It seems connected to the skeleton. Could have fucking fooled me. Oh, wait. This is a bathroom with a toilet, isn't it? Yes. Nothing. I see the plunger. Jump scare. J uh, uh, when we come back. Not going in here, but when we come back, is my guess. Here we go. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Objective complete. I got the living room key. How much you want to bet there's someone standing behind us right now? No. Put the horse figurines in their place. Horse figure. No one fucking likes you. That's probably not really what they're talking about. Hi. I was just walking by. Uh... As sudden, we have <laughs> we have this shit on our screen again. It's just gonna be there forever. I swear to God, if I walk out there and he turns the lights off again, dude, this game is so bizarre. Game of Billiards. What a cool painting. You've placed one out of 16. Is there a duffel bag in here? I see. Of course. Yeah, they rigged the pool table to the cabinet. What did we get that's new? We have a crowbar. Right. No more inventory space. What is that? I got a skeleton. I got a scroll. I need to gush the pipes. Still gotta gush the old pipes. Yes, of course. The skeleton is complete. All right. Big jump scare. Big jump scare. Here we go. Big jump scare. Here it comes. That guy creeps me out every single time. Every time. Every time I come around this corner, that guy scares me. Okay. I think it goes first. Then suspended... I don't have space. Suspended... Bridge... So first, he meets the lady. She tells him to go to the bridge. Then part three. Did he meet the demon in part three? I thought he did. Then suspended heart. And then... 
I am so fucking good at puzzles. You guys always give me shit. Oh my god, treasure trove! Fucking jackpot! I don't really need another battery right now. Huge! Oh, there's something spooky over there. I honestly... I honestly don't know how I play the horror games that I do already. We got the billiards finished. What is that? It's locked. Whatever it is, it's locked. Alright, well, we're definitely overdue for a jump scare, so I would just expect it on our way back to the... Is that guy going to steal the horse? There are some balls missing. Did I really not grab one out of the duffel bag? Oh yeah, the eight ball. I, I've played so many horror games with so many kinds of monsters. Dolls? Dolls are like a no-go. It's, it's just, they're just hard to deal with for me. If you, if you put a doll scare in your game, I, I may quit. I may quit. Um, Angel's Cove was all about a doll. We did manage to beat it. We did manage to beat Angel's Cove and it was all about a spooky fucking doll. But it, it, it was tough. And it took me, it took me some time. What did I need the fuel for? Um, yeah, house B and Viento in village. I fucking knew it. I was ready for it. I knew it. They weren't going to let that guy just sit there without doing something that whole time. Boop, 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 boop. Now I just have to light the blue fire. Right, I don't have that. Okay. So there's going to be there's going to be some kind of event that changes something in the house because I Wait. The merge room? Is that short for murder room? Either the butcher is going to be here or some event is going to cause the house to change. Because I think... Wait, can I? I just realized, can I? Oh, this is prime scare territory. Climbing through something narrow, something could come from above or the side or nothing at all. Which is weird because that to me feels like the exact time that you want to get someone. Hold the fuck on. What was the point of this? This hasn't actually gained me anything. Oh, wait. Actually, it did. Free candle. Now I only have 118 matches and only 26. Only 26 candles. Thankfully, I still have an ass ton of batteries. The father watches over the son. All right. I still am expecting then that once we walk downstairs, something changes. Is there something in these piles of books? That'd be a slick place to hide something. But no. Which almost makes me think... Oh! Oh! Key 256, which is... the desk office drawer, I believe. Do you guys see that? <laughs> I have very long fingers. Hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Give the rose. You feel better, buddy? I love you, Christina. Run away with me. See you later. Are we romancing that guy? 
We gave him a rose. Does that mean we're trying to sleep with him? Usually in the visual novels, you give someone like a bunch of gifts and roses because you're trying to sleep with them. This. The valve. Huge! I just felt the game load a whole bunch of assets. A whole bunch of assets just loaded. Which means we're in for a scare. What did they say? Reader beware? Reader beware. You're in for a scare. What is he doing on the ceiling? What? That scared me a lot. I don't know what was happening though. It's just you put a loud noise and the sudden thing there. Yeah. It fucking is going to scare me 100% of the time. I can't turn my flashlight off. Holy shit. Emotional damage. Oh, fuck. Is he behind me? Not yet. Um. <laughs> fuck. Whoa. Alberto, you need to talk to someone about this. You can't keep haunting me like this. Yeah, in every window, huh? That's actually kind of cool. Are you sad? Hmm. He... <laughs> he's... I, it doesn't matter. Even if I know it's coming, if you suddenly jump something out in the screen at me or play a loud noise... I'm gonna jump, a hundred percent of the time. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm going to jump. Yeah, just like that, exactly. I got the safe key, perfect. We'll just head over to the kids' room. Sure, there won't be any jump scares on the way. Oh, dude. You gonna do it this time? You did. All right, I was ready for that one. I was actually ready for that one. It's because like, you set up something like that where they do it in horror all the time. It's really effective. If you're ever watching a horror movie and the camera like zooms in on a door or like they force they uh maybe half the frame might be kind of black or dark and so you can only see a little bit of it it's because they're pulling your vision to that one point um it's because they're pulling your vision to that one point so they can get you with so they can make sure that your eyes are in the right place when they need to hit you with that scare yeah they draw your focus into a, a one point and so on a setup like that, it's so, so super, super obvious that it's like the perfect place to do it, right? You've got to crouch down. You have this, you're, you have narrow field of vision. The blue flyer is on. Hi. What? Huh? George, we know it's been hard for you to get this far. We care about your sanity. Record this code. 41607925. In the initial menu, you'll find the item checkpoint. If you're tired and want to quit the game, you can start from this point by entering the code. For now, we'll continue. Eight. Six. Two. Four. I super wish I could turn that off. Okay, so cupboard up medium, book three, clock. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Is there a a number on the clock? The middle? The upper middle? So four. Hold on. Four. Book three and then clock. Either way, one, two, three, or one, two, three. It has to be two. Two, three. We're solving this. Down left and then down right. Then eight and six. I don't think that... Wait, that did work? That's a creepy-ass fucking painting. You've collected acid. Do I hit that? Wait, what? Ugh! Do I have to hit every single painting in this fucking house? All right, I'm just going to walk around the house throwing acid on every painting that I see, I guess. Have the edges of the screen been doing that? Pretty sure my game just crashed. Whoa, that didn't just crash my game. That crashed Steam. Oh, 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 oh. boom, number. La Caduto di Dio. All right, I'm ready for it. Make a good horror game. In fact, more times than not. Ooh. Oh, all the doors are gone. He's gonna steal something. He's gonna steal the horse from us. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah, I, as soon as, as soon as it happened, I knew what was about to happen. We got to go find it. Where do you guys suspect it might be? Hopefully if you're, oh, look at that. I found the statue. Mysteriously placed. Right out here in the open, where you could be attacked by who knows what. I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna go now. I'm sure there's not a jump scare coming. Alberto's probably back in the house. Oh, it's that same corpse we saw at the beginning. 1972! Sounds like church music. Whoop. Also, the picture flashing thing, I can't see. Christina went out of her way to protect her son. But the night she planned to escape, George burst into her room. You cheated on me, Christina. I think he's about to murder her. You cheated on me with Alberto. I didn't betray you, Alberto was just obsessed, but there was never anything. Sure, and Alberto's obsession cured my impotence too. What? Please, George, stop. But George didn't stop. He murdered her, brandishing his cleaver with sweet gloves. He lashed out at his love and without any mercy, Chopped her into a million pieces. Dolls. Justice. Don't fucking put dolls in this game. I saw that little clip. You would, you would. Fortunately, justice was not long in coming. The police broke into the butcher's house. It took four policemen to appease George. 
The child was taken away from that house of horrors. The social workers decided to entrust him to the only close relative alive. Grace, the paternal grandmother. What do we call it? I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. He's your son, George. Dot, dot, dot. We must give him a name. You could call him Alberto like his father. Jeroje! Hold on. Don't be stupid, George. They spelled George's name wrong a second ago. Like his real father. They spelled George's name wrong. What? Christina's body. My mom, that child, it was me. What? The exit door has opened. Just like that, huh? You're just gonna let me walk on out to the exit door, huh? There's still a locked case back inside. Well done! Dear George, well done! You're now able to remember your past. All the events, traumas, choices, and mistakes that led you to the death of Laura and Hannah but we're not done with you yet. You still have a long way to go to please us. Soon we will come back to make you continue your journey. Soon the four demons. P.S. Open the game menu. For the moment, you're free. By selecting you are free, the game will end. There's still... No, no, no. Offer a rose. Oh. The casket key. The trophy room. Okay, wait, we gave the rose. We gave the rose last time to the demon. Right, this one right here. Boom. Trophy room key. Easy. Da da da. Oh, look at that. They do, they have space. No one else has done this yet? I could have my picture up here ASAP. Let me guess. This note says that we can... Daniel doesn't matter. You found the trophy room. If you do a Lost Alone gameplay on Twitch or upload it to YouTube, send me a private message on Instagram. Doesn't matter pod has the link. Your photo will be placed in this Hall of Fame and you'll be part of the game. Yeah, see, that that is. And there's no one here yet. I could be first on this wall right now. I could be first. Okay. Let's let's talk about let's talk about the game as a series in this one, right? So the first game, if I recall, we just walked around one floor basically the whole time. And there were just some silly jump scares. I don't even remember the puzzles. I do remember we got everything done. Right, there was the attic kind of area. There was a lot of nautical themed stuff. I think that the the series as a whole, right? The story is is really, I think it just suffers from a poor translation more than anything. I think it would be fine if, if you probably played it in the original language, which I imagine is Italian. Because I think that gives them a lot of issues because they're trying to make it super story heavy. I think they just need to tighten up their jump scares to not just be random events that happen when like you're walking down a hallway or like, oh, you know, you, you were going to leave a room and then something walks by the door. Like, yes, every, uh, you know, 100% of the time you will scare me with that. But that's just because I'm so tightly wound. Anytime you play a loud noise and you suddenly put something on the screen, it's going to scare me. But it's like, there's no substance is the issue. There's no substance to that kind of a jump scare. It's not bad. The jump scares are, are spooky. They'll get you. But like, would I recommend it to someone else that they have to play it? I don't think so. Not until they fix the bugs, translate it better, tighten it up. But I think as a whole, the, se the idea of a series is cool. Uh, I, the idea of like three or four games where you have to deal with all this stuff. I do think that's a, that's not a bad idea. 
but definitely it needs to be it needs to be tightened up. As always, let me know what you think. Let me just thought in the comments down below. And until next time, burn bright, everybody. <laughs>